If you're, you have recently stayed at the Turtle Bay Resort, you may want to check your credit card statements. The resort's management company says malware was used to take credit card information as it was routed through its payment processing system. If you used your credit card at Turtle Bay between October 23rd last year and January 1st this year, you may be affected. You're advised to report any unauthorized purchases to your credit card company. A 10-year-old boy suffered cardiac arrest, and doctors only gave him a 5% chance of survival. Pukihi Awai pulled through and is now recovering. His father wanted to share his son's story of what's being called a miracle. It's also turning into something of a crusade to make sure life-saving devices are available so other young victims have the same outcome. Alexander Zanes has a story you'll see only on KHON2. Alexander? Joe, doctors put Pokihi in a chemically induced paralysis and sedation. He didn't wake up for over four days, and doctors said it was uncertain if he would. But his condition improved, and on the fourth day, he woke up, and since then, he hasn't looked back. This is Pokihi Awai today, playing catch with his father. But just over a month ago, he was in the hospital fighting for his life. On January 12th, Pokihi was running drills at his brother's baseball practice. His father says, like any other day. That's when Pokihi suddenly collapsed. I was thinking he hurt a leg or something, you know, and not at all thinking that he was, he was having cardiac arrest. Barrett Awai says his son went into cardiac arrest due to an inflammation of his heart. Doctors say Pokihi had a 5% chance to pull through, being moved from the ER into the pediatric ICU. But on the fourth day, he woke up and started moving all of his limbs. And he recognized the person who had been there all along, his dad. It's hard to explain being there, uh, holding back my emotions, but that, uh, man, uh, going through that moment was just... Just being elated, just having a, a joy of appreciation of God's mercy and grace. Now, Pokihi's father said he wants to give back by raising awareness. Awareness about the importance of knowing to call 911 and knowing CPR. He also plans to start a foundation in his son's name. Hopefully, the, the greater awareness, too, is that we would um, and be able to purchase defibrillators for all the youth leagues and the you know youth parks and the recreation centers and work with the city and county, work with the state, um, work with the Heart Association, and just try to try to come together as a team to um, um, have that opportunity. As for Pokihi, he's back throwing strikes. In fact, the University of Hawaii baseball team visited him in the hospital. And now, fully recovered, he will throw out the first pitch at tomorrow's game versus San Francisco. I asked him how he feels. Happy and exhausted. Yeah, and Barrett Y says he's going to work to set up a nonprofit to put automatic external defibrillators into the hands of community members and sports leagues and is working to make sure everyone knows CPR. For Pokihi, it's back to baseball, and you can bet the ovation when he takes the field tomorrow will be one of the loudest of the night. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News. The city says there are automated external defibrillators at some of its facilities, including three at the Blaisdell Center, one at the Waikiki Shell, and two at the Honolulu Zoo. There are also AEDs at all district parks and swimming pools.